Thanksgiving Day, a day for drama as the Longhorns lay a national championship on the line against the Fired Up Aggies, a game that will live long as a conversation piece of 1963. Cadets take the kickoff, but they have to punt. Jim Keller bags one down to Joe Dixon. Joseph gets himself unraveled on the Texas 31-yard line, and from this point, Texas moves for the first score. Shoeless Tony hits for his ninth field goal of the season from 27 yards. Texas now leads 3-0. The cadets cash in on the first break of the day. Tommy Ford is hit, fumbles. The Aggies' Jim Drennan fishes this one out for the Aggies on their 27. Aggie Lightning strikes in a jiffy. Jim Keller to Travis Reagan and watch it come over the flash and a splash. Touchdown Aggies and they lead 7-3. to three. Same song, second verse, and the Aggies do it again. Texas Tony King gets faced, fumbles. Aggies Ronnie Moore is low man on this totem pole on the Cadets 44. Jim Keller goes back to the pad. Ronnie Carpenter makes a catch in a nest of bodies on Texas 48. And then it's bingo once again. Jim Keller on target. Fine running overhead catch by Hargett, and George goes all the way. Eager reception committed to celebrate this occasion, and it's Aggies 13, Texas 3. And then it happens to the Aggies. Jim Keller is the victim of the fumble bug, and it's Hicks Green of the Texas Greens to recover on the Aggie 35. Five plays later, it's Texas' turn to fire the cannon. Tommy Ford crashes home to make it Aggies 13, Texas 9. Late in the game, this is the drive that was. That jet in the clean white shirt is Texas' Tommy Wade, and he starts a bonfire. First to Green for 20 yards. It's third and eight, another big play. Wade hits Charlie Talbot for 10 more, and a setup on the Aggie 48. And then weird things begin to happen, so fasten your seatbelt. Wade gets chased around. He finally gets it away. But John Brotherton of the Aggies intercepts for a while, that is, until... And Tommy Stockton returns the ball to Texas on the Aggies 45. So the Cinderella kid goes back to work. Wade pitches to Charlie Talbot over on the right field foul line. It's first and 10 on the Aggie 27. And then remember this, the near miss. Wade throws the home run ball. Jim Willenborg fights it, and that's close, man. Still mopping his brow. Wade is still in there chunking. A shoestring catch on this play by Phil Harris, and it carries Texas to the Aggies' two-yard line with two minutes to play, and then Duke Carlisle goes to Fort Knox, and that's the end of the line. Texas 15, the Aggies 13.